Good morning friends. Welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In this video, I want to discuss how to write a Python program to convert binary number to decimal number. First, let me discuss how can we convert a binary number to decimal number. The decimal number is equal to the sum of binary digits times their power of 2. What is this one? Let me discuss with an example. Okay, let me open a PPT. Let me make it full screen. You can take an example. What is a binary number? Any number which is in the combination of ones and zeros. Suppose if I take 1, 0, 0, base 2. Now I can say it is a binary number or a base 2 number. Now what I need to do? I want to convert into a decimal number or base 10 number. Now, if it is a base 10 number, the minimum digit is 0 and maximum digit is 9. Whereas, it is a binary number, the minimum digit is 0 and maximum digit will be 1. Now, if I have taken the 100, I need to convert into binary number. If I have to do it, first I need to find the weights of each digit. You have the digit 0, find the weight of it. The weight will be 2 to the power 0 and weight of this one will be 2 to the power 1 and weight of this one will be 2 to the power 2. Now what I need to do? I need to compute the multiplication of the digit and its corresponding weight and I then I need to perform the sum. Then similarly 0 into 2 to the power 1 plus 1 into 2 to the power 2. Now, 0 into 2 to the power 0 will be 0, 0 into 2 to the power 1 will be 0, 1 into 2 square will be 1 into 2 square is 4, so which is equal to 4. So, if you have the binary number 1 double 0, if you convert into decimal number, you will get the value as 4. Similarly, let me take one more example. Okay, if I have taken 11001 base 2, which is a binary number, I want to find the equivalent decimal number. Now, what I need to do? I need to find the weights of each digit. The weight of this one will be 2 to the power 0, then weight of this one will be 2 to the power 1, 2 to the power 2, 2 to the power 3, and then 2 to the power 4. Okay, then what you need to do? You need to multiply the weight and its corresponding digit and then you need to compute the sum overall. So, which will be 1 into 2 to the power 0, 0 into 2 to the power 1 plus 0 into 2 square, 1 into 2 cube plus 1 into 2 to the power 4. 1 into 2 to the power 0. You know that anything power 0 will be 1. So, 1 into 1, 0 multiplied with anything will be 0 and this one also will be 0. 1 into 2 to the power 3 is 1 into 8 plus 1 into 2 to the power 4 is 1 into 16. So, 1 into 1 will be 1 plus 0 plus 0, 1 into 8 will be 8, 1 into 16 is 16. So, you will get the value as how much? 25. So, if you have taken the binary number which is double one double zero one, if you convert into equivalent decimal number, we got the 25. So, I hope you have understood how to convert the binary number to decimal number. Now, if you want to write into a Python program, first you need to know the logic. Once we get the logic, then we can write the program. Now, if you take it, we have the 110 okay which is the input we need to take from the user okay if you want to take the input from the user we will use the input function now the input function you know that everything it will give in the form of a string okay so once we have taken the string suppose let's take that i'm storing in a variable called n now what i need to do this n into a list i will convert into a list what is a list list is a collection of heterogeneous elements okay so if, if i convert into a list list 1 is equal to list of n if i convert it i will get each one like 
the one is there right it will be considered as a because it is a string now each one will be considered each element will be considered as a string now one will be considered as a one string another one will be considered as a string and then you have the zero so you have taken the input as one one zero now once you convert into a list you will get the individual digits as a collection of elements so you have taken one one zero so you got one one zero but this one is a string this one is a string and this zero is also a, a string okay now what you need to do you need to know that in list every element is accessed with the index so this element is at the zeroth index this element is there at the first index this element is there at the second index okay what is meant by index if we say that using that index we can access the any element randomly suppose if i want to access this element then i can simply write list one of one because this element one is there at the index one now once we got this information what we need to do is that we need to reverse this one why we need to reverse it you will understand if i reverse this one we will get a zero then you will have one and this one you will have a one now what is the index this is at the zeroth index this is first index this is at second index okay we have reversed the list one now you can take it this zero okay zero into 2 to the power that index value plus 1 into 2 to the power that index value plus 1 into 2 to the power that index value 2 that is what we need to compute because 0 into 2 to the power 0 is 0 1 into 2 to the power 1 is 2 1 into 2 square is 4 so we will get the 6 because if we convert the 110 which is a binary number to a decimal number we will get the equivalent 6 am i right so what is the process we have taken we have read the input from the user we have converted into a list and then we have reversed the list and then we have computed the decimal number now i will write the program to make you understand this concept in a better way okay let me remove this one first i need to read the input from the user if i want to read the input from the user i need to use the input function okay inside this one i will write enter the binary number okay once the user has entered the binary number i will convert into a list so list one is a variable okay i will use the list function to convert the anything to a list okay if you want to verify the list of elements you can write print list one okay now you can run the program and verify it okay let me run enter the number 100 now you got the first element is 1 which is stored at the index 0 this element 0 is at the index 1 this 0 is there at the index 2 if you want to verify you can even display the elements at the particular index suppose if i write list 1 at the index 1 you have the 0 so you will get the 0 which is a string still because you are enclosed within the single quote see look at here 100 okay see you got the element which is there at the index one at the list one is zero okay now what i have said to you you need to reverse this list one okay so what i will write list one dot reverse okay so now i got the elements of the list one in the reverse order if you want to verify you can display this one okay before reversing also you can display and then after reverse also you can display the elements look at here i have given 100 okay if i reverse it will be same so 100 i have given look at here first the elements are 100 after reversing i got 001 okay now what i need to do is that i need to compute the sum okay the powers of multiplied over the powers okay look at here how i will do this one is I will take the sum variable and I will initialize it to 0 and then I will use a for loop for i in range ln of 
list 1. First let me write the program then I will discuss the logic with you. Sum is equal to sum plus okay sum plus int of int of list 1 of i into 2 to the power i okay then finally I want to display the decimal number the equivalent equivalent decimal number is okay I can write sum look at here if I run the program look at here I have given 100 zero zero. what is the equivalent decimal number is will be 4 if you have to verify you can run it and you can see the output is 4 now how it is happened let me discuss with you all okay the user has entered the by input as 100 zero, which is a binary number what we have done we have converted into a list of elements so at the index one, 0 you will have 1 at the index uh, 1 you will have 0 at index 2 you will have 0 okay now what I have done I have reversed it if I have reversed it the elements will be 0 0 1 okay then what I have done I have initialized the sum as 0 then I have used the for loop so for i in range len of list 1 okay now you know that range will take the three values what are the three values start value stop value and step value what is the start value the start value will be as the user has not provided because we are saying that range will take three parameters but however we have given only one parameter which is the stop value if you give in only one value then it will consider it as a stop value then what is the start value and step value the default values will be consider the start default value will be zero and the stop value here is len len is nothing but computing the length of the list one length means number of elements in the list how many elements are there three elements are there zero zero one so totally three elements are there so stop will give the value as three and step value as the user has not provided the default value will be considered which is equal to one then as the user has in written for i in okay so i initial value will be start value which is zero then i should be less than stop what is the i value here zero what is the stop value three okay so i value is zero stop value is three so the for loop is true now if the for loop is true or the for loop condition is true i should say the for loop condition is true they are statements which are there in the for loop will be executed what is the statement which is there in the for loop you can look at sum is equal to sum plus what is the sum value zero so zero plus int of int of list one of i i value is zero into into two to the power two to the power i which is zero now look at here let me write here sum is equal to 0 plus int of list 1 of 0 means in list 1 at the index 0 what element is there 0 is there that you are converting into integer because now as the input function will consider everything in the string so each element will also be a considered as a string okay so now this 0 is in the form of a string okay so that's why i'm converting into a zero so sum is equal to zero plus zero into two to the power zero you know that anything power zero will be one so zero into one will be zero so zero plus zero is sum is still zero only okay so now all the statements in the for loop is completed then where the control will go the control will go to the iteration the i value is 0 and step value is 1 so i value will be incremented by step which is 1 so i value will become 1 then you will verify the condition what is the condition i should be less than stop what is the i value 1 what is the stop value 3 so 1 is less than 3 so the condition is true if the condition is true again the statements which are there in the for loop will be executed what is the statement sum is equal to sum plus int of list 1 of i into 2 to the power i sum value is still 0 so 0 plus int of list 1 of 1 okay and then into 2 to the power i which is 1 so in list 
1 at index 1 you have the 0. So, 0 plus 0 into 2 to the power 1. 2 to the power 1 is 2. So, 0 into 2 will be 0. So, 0 plus 0 will be 0. So, still sum is 0. Then all the statements in the for loop is completed. Again the control will go to the iteration. I value is 1, step value is 1. So, you need to increment the I value by 1. So, I value will become 2. Then you will verify the condition. What is the condition? I should be less than stop. I value is 2. 2 is less than 3. Again the for loop condition is true. If the condition is true, again the statements which are there in the for loop will be executed. Sum is equal to sum plus int of list 1 of i into 2 to the power i. Sum value is still 0. So, 0 plus int of list 1 of in i value is 2. 2 into 2 to the power 2. Now, look at here. Sum is equal to 0 plus list 1 of 2. List 1 at the index 2, what element is there? 1. So, 1 into 2 to the power 2. 2 to the power 2 is 4. Okay. So, look at here. 0 plus 1 into 4 will be 4. So, 0 plus 4 is equal to 4. Now, the sum value is 4. Now, look at here. All the statements in the for loop is completed. Again, the control will go to the iteration. I value is 2, step value is 1. So, I value will become 3. Then, you have to verify the condition. What is the condition? I should be less than stop. What is the I value? 3. Is 3 is less than 3? No, 3 is equal to 3. So, this condition is false. Okay? As the condition is false, the statements which are there inside the for loop will not be executed. The next statement after the for loop will be executed. Look at here. After the for loop, you have the print. So, this statement will be executed. The equivalent decimal number is whatever the value is there in the variable sum will be displayed. What is the value is there in the variable sum? 4. So, you got the output as 4. If you want to verify, let me give one more input. Okay. 4 ones, which is equivalent to 15. Okay. So, you got the equivalent decimal number is 15. I hope you have understood how to write a Python program to convert the binary number to decimal number. If you still have any doubts related to this concept, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will try to clear your doubts as early as possible. Thank you for watching the complete video. Have a nice day.